Madre mia. Che? Halt! Or I shoot! Back, you little best. Keep that back. Come back, you silly monkey. That's mine. This is the 19th century, Manuel. If my sister wants to marry you, I don't see why you need my father's permission. It'd make things easier, Benito. I will speak to my mother and seek her advice. The thing is, will he agree to us marrying in Belém? I don't see why not. Oh, look! I told you we'd find some game. Did you see that? Yes, what was it? Thank you, gentlemen. You have done me a great service. My name is Torres. Manuel Valdez. And Benito Garral. Garral. Yes, my father, Joam, has a plantation three miles from here. Come with us, if you like. No. Thank you. If I refuse your hospitality, it is because I must get back to the Amazon. I have a boat to catch. To Belem. Goodbye. Goodbye. Perhaps we'll meet in Belém. Mm. Mm. Manuel's mother is too ill to travel. 
We should have the wedding in Belém. Belém? In Brazil? In all the years I've known you and been married to you, you've never set foot out of Peru. I'd like to see Brazil, and so would the children. Ha. Ah. Nina is going to leave us. Surely you want us to go to the wedding? You're right. When shall we start? Minya, <laughs> we're going down the Amazon. Minya, Minya. I know, Mother. We're going to Belém. To travel down the Amazon, one must have a craft. Men must fell trees. Go on, get a move on. Go on, keep going. Countless trees, which oxen must haul to the river, to be sawn and split and fashioned into a raft, the likes of which has never been seen before. And a world away from all this activity, we passengers amuse ourselves with a little sightseeing. It's cruel, Benito. Can't I just shoot a few birds? Not if I have anything to do with it. There are better ways to amuse yourself than shooting poor defenseless animals. What if it isn't defenseless? All right. If we are attacked by a jaguar, you may shoot it. <laughs> With me by your side, darling, you have nothing to fear. Right. If there are so many better ways to amuse ourselves, name one. I know. Let's follow this vine and see where it leads us. Through thickets, over cliffs, past man-eating jaguars. <laughs> Come on, then. This isn't a vine, it's a creeper. It could stretch for miles. Come on, Minya. Follow me. Come on, Manuel. What's that? Be careful. <gasps> it's probably a jaguar. Quick! His heart's still beating. What could make a man do that to himself? He needs help. Let's take him back. Yes, at once. Oh. A moment of despair. 800 leagues of country to cross and not a penny in my pocket. I, I lost courage. I owe you my life. Mr. Fragoso, I assure you, you owe me nothing. I am a barber from the diamond country. Perhaps I could curl and cut your hair. <laughs> well, if you really want to make yourself useful, perhaps you'd like to help us build the Jangada. Jangada? The biggest raft that ever sailed. The tide will rise soon and lift the Jangada off the riverbank. Our quarters are at the rear. In the center, around the chapel, are the huts for the workmen. The crow's nest. And at the front, we have, naturally, the pilot's deck. And let's not forget the warehouses, filled with rubber, sarsaparilla, togwin beans. Not to mention the fact that all this lumber should fetch a hefty price in Berlin. Might as well mix business with pleasure. <laughs> One more week, and the tide will carry us all on the river. From here, we travel downstream out of Peru. Got the cables. Fore and off. Push her away there. Eight hundred leagues along the longest river in the world.
a barber, Mr. Benito. And by the look of it, this part of the country is full of potential customers. There. Hmm? I assure you, madam, this is the very latest style. More style than you'll see in any street in Rio. Good day, friend. What can I do for you, sir? Cut my beard and hair. Mr. Torres, if I remember rightly, you had some trouble with a large monkey. Mr. Torres wants us to take him to Manaus. Come aboard. I'm sure my father will be happy to welcome you. Letter. Who for? <coughs> Judge Rivero, the Chief Magistrate of Manaus. So, Da Costa is alive and still claiming that he is innocent. Sir? That'll be all, officer. Come to Manaus, then, Da Costa. If you hand yourself over to the forces of justice, I shall do my best for you. with Manaus, Mr. Garau. I've been there. Perhaps we have mutual acquaintances. Do you know the chief magistrate, Judge Ribeiro? That's none of your business. Huh? What? I'm sure Mr. Torres meant no offense, Sherman. Perhaps, Miss Garau, I might show you the sights of Manaus on our arrival there. I don't like him, Benito. Nor do I. Have you seen the way he looks at my father? He's not to be trusted. In 20 days, we'll be in Manaus. I'll be glad to see the back of him. Till then, we'll just have to keep an eye on him. Once occupied more than a hundred leagues between the Tefe and Madeira. Are they hostile? Those arrows are tipped with Karari, a poison which kills in a whisper. But are we safe? Safe from them? They won't hurt us. Alligators! Alligators! Bring the guns! They're coming on the deck! Bring the guns! Quickly, into the house. Alligators! 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 Wait, where's Minya? Minya! She's not there. Minya! Where is she? Minya! Minya! She must still be on deck. Help! Look out! Look out! Good shot! My love. Fragoso! 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 He was a brave man, Miss Lena. Oh, dear, Mr. Fragoso. <gasps> Fragoso! 
Fragoso! Thank you, Torres. I owe you my life. You owe me nothing. Thank you, Lena. Well, Mr. Fragoso, is that all you've got to say? Hmm. Let's drink to the forthcoming wedding of Miss Lena and Mr. Fragoso. Hooray! Best of luck. You next, you. Benito. <laughs> oh, Mr. Torres, perhaps you might find a bride in Manaus, hmm? That would be difficult. I don't know anyone in Manaus other than Judge Ribeiro. Where are you from, Mr. Torres? I am from up and down the Amazon, from one lumber camp to the next. But I was raised in Tijuco, in the Diamond District. There are fortunes to be made from diamonds by fair means or foul. In 1826, when I was about eight years old, a terrible crime was committed. There was a young man called Da Costa who worked in the mining office. A big convoy of diamonds was due and he told a band of smugglers. Close to the Villarica, the bandits attacked. There was an escort with the convoy they defended themselves bravely, but... All were massacred. Every one of them. He protested his innocence, but he was the only one who knew about the convoy. The only one who could have told the bandits. He was charged, arrested, tried and sentenced to death. The evening before his execution, he made his escape. heard of since? Never. If he survived, he probably left Brazil and lives happily on the proceeds. I need some air. Benito, whatever happens, this man must leave the boat when we arrive at Manaus tomorrow. Yes. If he harms my father, I'll kill him. You are Joanne da Costa. Did not you hear? I said... You are Joam da Costa. <laughs> Have you nothing to say? What do you want me to say? Something that will stop me going to the chief magistrate in Manaus and denouncing you as a thief and a murderer. What is it you want? You have a daughter. I like her. And I want to marry her. Hmm. Impossible. You know my daughter's going to marry Manuel Valdez. Then break off the engagement. You're that keen to become part of a murderer's family. I know you are innocent. I have proof. Proof? <laughs> I know who did it. I know who told the bandits about the convoy. Who? And where is he? Dead. But I knew him well. He and I spent a long time together in woodcutting squads before his death. He wrote a confession. Where is this confession? I'll give it to you when your daughter becomes my wife. Never! On your head, the beard. I will denounce you, and this time you will swing for sure. Enough. I know what to do. What's your answer, Joam? I want to change the arrangements for the wedding. Ah, at last. With Manuel's permission, I want to hold the ceremony tomorrow. Here on the Jangada. <gasps> Is that your last word? No. I want you to leave now. You heard him. Leave now or I'll throw you overboard.
You'll be sorry. You haven't heard the last of this. Joam Garal. I know. Tomorrow I'm meeting Judge Ribeiro, the magistrate. Meet me there, if you dare. Judge Ribeiro. Judge Ribeiro. <gasps> Fetch a doctor, quick. Are you ready? Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> Ahoy there. I only hope it's not too late. Joam Garal? What is it? What do they want? Oh, no. I can't believe this. I'm Joam Garal. Hmm. Joam Garal. Also known as Da Costa. I have a warrant for your arrest. Impossible. The charge is murder. My father, a murderer, and never. Answer only one thing. Do you come from Judge Ribeiro? No. He died this morning of a stroke. Tell them, Father. Tell them it's a mistake. What did there is want? no mistake. Oh, no. I am Joam da Costa. <gasps> oh, no. Judge Ribeiro was the only one who knew that I was innocent. Murder. Let the justice of man be done. We can only await the justice of God. Your name? Joam da Costa. Where do you live? In Peru, at the village of Iquitos. Under what name? My mother's name, Garal. Why are you using that name? To hide myself from Brazilian justice. And why should you have anything to fear from Brazilian justice? I was sentenced to death in 1826, accused of the diamond robbery in Tijuco. And what did you hope to gain by leaving Peru? I wanted to give myself up. To Judge Ribeiro. I am innocent. All prisoners assert their innocence. Have you any material proof? Perhaps I have. Shall we more at the Isle of Muras, sir, or go on to Manaus? We must get to Manaus, and as quickly as possible. We have to support my father show that we believe in his innocence. Manuel, Minia is the daughter of a convict. I would quite understand if... Minia de Costa or Minia Garal, I want her to be my wife and you to be my brother. Tomorrow we'll find Torres. We'll make him tell us what he knows. He's our only hope. We've come to see my husband, Joam Garal. Mm, you mean Da Costa. Come back this afternoon. You may see him at four o'clock. No luck. Nobody's seen him. Perhaps he's left Manaus. Be patient, Benito. I don't care what it takes. We must find him. I'll try this one. Yellow poncho, you say? Yes. He's about 30 and has a pointy black beard and he wears his hair long and tied back. He stayed here last night. Is he still here? No. He went out about an hour ago. He headed down towards the river. Come on, follow me! Torres? Torres, you scoundrel. <clears throat> Torres? What do you think you're doing? I beg your pardon, sir. A simple mistake. Sorry about that, sir. <laughs> Goodbye. Look! Up on that ridge! Come on!
Well, if it isn't Mr. Benito Garral. No, Benito da Costa. Quite so. And what do you want from me, Mr. da Costa? The truth. The truth. The truth is your father is doomed, unless you have come here to offer me the hand of your sister. I see. Three against one. One against one. But this is my fight. My father's life is at stake. Torres, I'll get you the truth if I have to beat it out of you. <laughs> You'll have to fight me first. Torres is dead? I didn't mean to kill him. If Torres is dead, we'll never find the evidence that I'm innocent. He had a confession written by the real culprit. But how was I to know? You weren't. Only a miracle can save me now. My father. I've killed him. No, we'll just have to find the confession. Yes, but how? Remember when we first met Torres, a monkey had stolen a little copper box? Yes, of course. He kept it in his breast pocket. And if the copper box is watertight... You're right. We must find Torres's body, even if it means searching the whole riverbed. Day gone and nothing but a dead goat and a bale of cloth. We'll find it. If it takes a month. We haven't got a month. In a couple of days, the body will start to rot, and then it will float past that quay and downstream to the Atlantic. Manuel, remember yesterday we saw them building that quay? They were using diving apparatus. Come on! A thousand escudos. But, sir, we have work to. Five thousand! Sir! 10,000 a day, please, I beg you. For 10,000 a day, you can have my boat, my house, why, even my wife. This is what I need. Won't you have one of my men to help you? Just someone to work the air pump. But who's going to wear the diving suit? I am. Still nothing. I'll go down this time. No, I know where to go. There, there's a hollow. Be careful, Benito. It's much deeper than where you've been so far. Come up if you feel dizzy. If you go too deep, you'll lose consciousness. consciousness.
pull him up. He'll let us know when he wants to come up. Not if he's confused. No man can stand the pressure of so much water for any time. What on earth is that ship doing? I think it's going to announce its arrival with a ten-gun salute. Oh, no. breathing. Benito, can you hear me? Quick, off with this helmet. I just pray he's all right. <coughs> the body! We have it. It must have been ready to float when the vibrations from the cannons brought it to the surface. It's Torres, all right. There's the box! No! We must do this properly, with witnesses. Is it sealed? Yes, it looks quite watertight. Open it then. This box contains the evidence that will save my father's life. Only one person should open it. Judge Jeriquez. Oh. On Therese's body, you say? Yes, we have a witness. Let's see what's inside it. So, this is the evidence that will prove Juan da Costa's innocence? Well? I can see that this is going to be more difficult than we thought. Why? What do you mean? What? Because this document is a cryptogram, and we haven't got the key. I have nothing more to expect from the justice of men. My fate is in the hands of God. Have faith, Father. We've been given the paper that will liberate you. We just need to figure out how to use it. At this very moment, Judge Jadiquez is attempting to decipher it. There isn't time. Tomorrow, the messenger will arrive from the Ministry, bringing the order for my execution. Where is Fragoso? I haven't seen him since we found the document. He said something about investigating woodcutting squads. Then we'll just have to do this without him. But even if we can get him out, where shall we go? Here. We take this stream to the river. Then if we can reach the mountains undetected, we can make our way out of the country. Let's go. We've no time to lose. If I had just one word... One word would be enough. One word. A man's life depends on it.
Ride is round the corner. Who goes there? Who is that? There goes tomorrow's dinner. Manuel's waiting with a boat. It's now or never. Let's go. Go? Escape a second time? Never. But, Father, I beg you, if you don't escape, you'll die. I'll die, then. I'm too old to spend my life hiding from justice. But, Father, you must escape. And let them think I'm guilty? No. No one there, sir. Let me tell you, sir, that I could have got away, but I chose to stay here. Joan de Costa, the order has arrived from the Chief Justice at Rio de Janeiro. This order is about the execution of my sentence. Yes. And that will take place tomorrow. <gasps> someone who wants to ask you some questions. Uh, did a man called Torres work with you a few months ago? Yes. Did he have a friend who died recently? You mean Ortega? Ortega? Judge Jarricat. I'm sorry, sir. He just pushed past. That's all right. Torres told the truth. Stop the execution. You brought me the key to the cryptograph? No, but I found his squad. He had a friend who died, Ortega. Go away. Leave me alone. No, don't. You can't leave him to die. He is innocent. Ortega is the guilty one. He wrote that document. One word. Let's see. If he signed the document, this could give us the key. O R T E G A. Are you ready? Yes.
Don't be offended. This is simply a formality. Thank you. six numbers and their rank in the alphabet correspond to O R T E G A. Could it be their position in the alphabet but in reverse? Nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sanctus, in secula seculorum. Amen. Is there anything you wish to say? Nothing. this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Do you, Minia da Costa, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. I pronounce you man and wife. Very good. Hooray! 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 